Hey there, people. My name is Tagorian, and welcome back to Darksiders 2. Please, We're right them. at the end game, so we can basically uh, just clean up some things. And what I want to do is sell all of these. All of these relics. Oh. Did I just get four skill points? What? Health points, wrath points, what? Hmm. So we need to return 30 you of those to find, to find me. Yes. another piece of the Abyssal Armor. What I really want to do first... Oh my god, I've got 8 points! <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of upgrade a bunch of stuff. Where's Harvest? This is Harvest. So there we go. What do we have to do next? What are some things that we haven't done? I guess we could just clean up uh, collectibles. But that's going to take a while. We could also do the Crucible. Which, again, would take a while. Not as long as finding collectibles. Let's look on our map. What are some things we need to clean up? I guess I could sh start by showing off this. I mentioned that we could do this, but later. And we needed the Riftwalker to do it. I'm, I'm almost certain. At least fully complete. So we can jump up here. Over and up and grab. Pretty good music starts playing. Although this game is only filled with good music. In my opinion. Drop down here. An easy chest. And this is where we can use the Rift Walker. Rift Walker, Phase Walker, whatever you want to call it. So we're able to jump in from there. And there's a coin out there. Where do I put the other... Not ah, great. See, this always confused me. I never knew where to put the other uh, portal. You cannot win.
There it is. It's just right above. I am a fool. What's in here? A skill point! Neat. Maybe I use those two, really. It will hide. Is there, like, could I grab it? Oh. Yes. Cool. So, something else I could show... ...is just on the other side of this area. So in here is the the Arbiter's Maze, the Soul Arbiter's Maze. Took me a while to remember exactly what was in here. Down there is a pit. There is a mini dungeon to find it. But that's to be expected. Okay, there we go. That's where we start. It's all pretty straightforward, though. So it's not really a problem to find. I see a stone bite there. I do want to push this also. I'll do that first, and it'll spin the wall there. I don't think that you can... No, wait, you absolutely can't go behind there. There we go. So that one guy is still outside the door, which is hilarious. Jump back. Grip. 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 Oh, that was on a timed cycle! I'm so good, I didn't even realize it. And that makes it permanent. There's a sign of there the sign of a scroll arbiter's scroll. Scroll? Did I say scroll arbiter's soul? Scro ah, whatever. It's very confusing to me, as you can probably tell. There's a scroll. North and west. And what do we do? I think we have to read the book. Yes. Okay. There are 10 levels to the maze. Creatures I... So, this is what we do. And if you give me a second... I think that should have activated. Yes, it did. Cool. So, the portal activated. Basically, all it is... Is this trial. It, you just fight. Okay. Fuck you too. You fight, and you fight, until the doors open. And what does this do? 
Okay, you can just teleport out. Or you can follow all those scroll instructions that you've been finding. So if we go, uh, you see above the portal, there's a direction. So what we need to do is go south. Uh, please, there we go. And I think we'll have to fight even more. And then we need to go east. You might actually get confused of where you are in this dungeon. But maybe make a note. Notepad. So this is a different area, isn't it? This is the secret of floor one. Every floor will have a path to get out. And uh, it'll descend you through the dungeon. Yeah, fun stuff. As you go down, enemies just get more powerful. This is something that I'll do in my free time. Maybe I'll record a bit. But there's nothing remarkable about it. There are a couple of unique weapons hidden with, uh, throughout. But none of them are too remarkable. So I'm going to clear up this wave. And I'm going to leave. Back in the fjord. If you remember this hungry guy. So I think he's right here. I hope he's right here. Yes, he is. There he is. That was much bigger than this. Oh, well. Uh, these are for you. Where did you find these? Oh. Huh. Interesting. So I'm gonna just look at what rewards I can get. So this is permanent stat boosts. It's a very interesting system. You can actually just kind of customize yourself. So maybe I should have been doing that the entire game. Oh well. What is my critical chance? It looks like base is around 32. Which is very good. About a third of our attacks will be hitting. I do want to bump that up as much as possible though. And something else that we never dealt with. I don't think at least is this structure right in front of us. So it's actually very good that I came back here. <laughs> this guy is level 18. So we haven't explored... What? Oh, cool. We haven't explored every part of the map. Uh, but that's to be expected. This is a huge game. Not as big as some. But there are a ton of collectibles hidden about. There's a ton of stuff to do. There's a chest over here. Did I miss it? Is it above me? It's probably above me. So, there's just a lot of exploring. Take your time if you want to play this game. Just go through it. Enjoy everything. A lot of detail has been put into this. I cannot. Where the heck was that chest? Oh, it was below. Oh, cool. Got the coin. How do I get... Oh. Okay, I could have got that chest a long time ago. Oh, 
Health potion and execute chance. Interesting. So this might be a shorter episode because there's not too much for me to show that isn't just collectibles. But the next episode will be... Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. There is one more thing that I want to show. But I'm going to do that after those bonus dungeons. So, that's going to be in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this, and please join me again for another episode of Darksiders 2.